All right, guys, so I'm in a new surrounding. I'm visiting family in Ohio, and as you can see, this is not my background, but today we're gonna do a get ready with me. From fugly to fabulous, I guess that's what it's called, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna talk through this, which means it's probably gonna be a little long, video because i'm going to talk through it and let you guys know everything that i do when i'm getting ready y'all first what i do is use my clear and clean uh moisturizer i have very very dry skin so and anybody that watches my videos you guys know i have extra dry extra beyond dry skin um most people have um oily uh, oily t-zone i have a very dry t-zone so yeah all right this is a tinted moisturizer um i've been using this for a while this is covergirl aqua smoothers uh this is lady light light to medium this has spf 15 looks like this I've been using it for a while now. Uh, basically, it gets the job done. So what I do is I just put a couple of lines on my face here. Just a few. I take. Okay, now as you, if you watch my channel, you know I have a two-year-old, and she kind of broke my brush it was supposed to look like this i found it in her room like this sorry so let's go ahead and rub that in since it's kind of rainy outside um and i'm not really going anywhere special we're probably just gonna go uh shopping so I'm going to do a nice neutral face using my BH Cosmetic palette. Uh, next, I'm going to prime my eyes before I do my um, foundation and everything. Uh, only because I use the, first let me say this, I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, um, Primer Potion, which is very popular, a lot of people use this. But... I prime my eyes like toward the beginning because I've noticed that it works better. I don't know if anybody else noticed this, but it works better if you prime and let it dry. Um, I have very, very oily eyelids. I mean, like, my makeup creased so bad. So, yeah, I have to let that dry first. So, let's get started with the foundation. Foundation, my old time favorite, the True Match, L'Oreal True Match. Um, in weather like this, oh, where I'm from, I'm from Michigan. I'm in Ohio right now, though. Um, the with weather, the type of weather that we've been having, my skin has been between a neutral and a warm. So I'm gonna mix these two. Let's give them a nice little shake, 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 shake. shake. Um, not like normal people i liked this is a brush it's by um style it's i think it's supposed to be a replica of the sigma brushes um they come like this so i got them off ebay they were maybe 16 dollars for a set of 12. it's like four face brushes and the rest were eye brushes but anyways let's Go ahead and what I do is I pat little spots. Weird, I know a lot of people say I'm weird for this, but it's what it what works for me, so in and do my eyebrows now this so 
so that's what they look like before that's after I'll let you guys know how I feel after I finish using it I'm gonna fast forward this so you won't have to sit through me doing my brows the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to just put that all over my lid, not too much. Now they also sell this same one in a in ones like this. This is this is milk, but this one is actually called white. It looks the same to me. I blend it with my finger gently don't want to tug too hard on your eyes your eyelids cause wrinkles okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a blending brush this is also by style um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go into the color this is a brown they don't have their own their own separate color but I'm just going to take this brown, very lightly put this in my crease. Okay, now I'm going to take an a eyeshadow pencil from e.l.f. Looks like this. And I'm going to go into this color right here. It's like a peachy pink type of color. I'm going to put that all over my lid with pets. Not because this is very pigmented, but you it has a lot of fallout. So you want to pat, not swipe. I'm sorry guys, I'm not looking into the camera. Um, it looks like my lighting is great, but it's really not that good in here. And this was the only place to record where there wasn't a lot of people. So, like I said, we're just going to put this all over your lid. Like so. Going to do the other side. Uh, now, right now, I put a lot of product on the brush. I don't have a setting spray to spray with the, to spray on, so. Comes out like that. Now, I'm just going to take that same blending brush and just going to blend out the harsh line. Um, we want this to look like it's flowing. Okay, now I'm going to take another brush from e.l.f. Um, this is their eye crease brush. Looks like this. A really, really pointy top. I'm going to go into this light purple right here and mix it with a little bit of the um, plum color at the top and put that into my crease. I'm also putting that same those same two colors on my edges, the edge, like the edge of my eye. Just gonna do the other side. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take a different blending brush. Looks like this. This is by Eco Tools, and I'm just going to blend that out very nicely. You like I said before, you want this to look like it's one, like it's flowing, not like um, you don't want any harsh lines. Okay, now I'm going to take that same eyeshadow brush and just go over the lid just a little bit more for what may have got, um, may have went away from using the other colors. You still want that color to be in there. Blending is always the key, okay? Always. Okay, now I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go into this new color right here in the corner and I'm just going to put that under my brows. Like that. That's about right now I'm just going to put some mascara on. This is the Fossey Volume Express by Maybelline. I don't want too much product on there. This is just so I can um, fill them out, you know, space them out a little bit just so they'll blend with my lashes. And again, guys, I'm so sorry that I'm looking away from the camera. I hope you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So, let's move on to the rest of the face before we finish the eyes. Alright guys, this is the Wet n Wild Cover All Concealer. I'm just going to place this under my eyes. As so, and bring it down just a little bit. Do the same for this side. I'm going to take an e.l.f. powder brush with Revlon Color Stay um, lighter than my actual color. And I'm going to put that under my eye with that. I just want to set that very quickly because I crease very fast. Now I'm going to go in with that same powder brush that I used for under my eye and I'm going to take Wet n Wild Cover All and I'm just going to set some of my makeup, which I meant to do before, but I'm actually trying to hurry up. Okay, so next what we're going to do, so I'm going to take blush. I'm going to take Wet n Wild Blush. This is in the color Pearl Essence Pink. Uh, looks like this. One of my favorite blushes of all times. And I'm going to just 
not too much because I don't want this to be so big but I'm gonna pat that on and then blend it out okay so what a difference lashes make right ladies where would we be without our lashes right so now i'm going to take a black pencil and do my line My last step for makeup would be my lips. I'm gonna take, I don't know what this is. I got it from my mother. She gave it to me like this. I tried it, loved it. I don't love the smell of it, but I love the color of it. So I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. This one is um, by Wet n Wild. It's called Just Peachy. So what I'm gonna do is place a little bit of this on my lips and a little, like a little bit of each on my lips. See my bottom lip i don't really like the way the color comes out um by itself so i always mix it with something or blend it in really really well for makeup okay so it's getting dark so let's wrap this up let's fast forward through this okay She had it on at church one day and I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. It's like, you should give me that. I was just playing, but she gave it to me. So yeah, and I love it. And I thank you for it. Thank you, Taylor. Um, earrings are studs. My husband bought. Of course, everyone knows I wear my wedding ring all the time. And that's it, guys. I my shirt. Oh, sorry. 
Um, my shirt came from, I think, I believe it was Wet Seal. I'm not jeans were thrifties yes my husband bought me some jeans he was like hey, i was at the thrift store and i found some jeans i thought you wanted them of course everyone knows i don't go anywhere without my my bluetooth my phone and that's it i love you guys and i hope you rate like subscribe and leave a comment below on the videos you would like me to do again love you guys kisses